Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is recursion and limitations of recursion. And also I will explain programs for factorial of a number and Fibonacci series using recursion. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is recursion. Recursion is a technique of making a function call itself. Recursion is nothing but function which calls itself is known as recursion. This technique provides a way to break complicated problems problems into simple problems which are easy to solve by using recursion we can break complicated problems into simple problems so that we can easily solve those problems this is an example of recursion here i created one function let function name be sum function which calls itself is known as recursion so i'm calling the same function here that means i'm calling this same function so we call it as recursion because function which calls itself is known as recursion these are the limitations of recursion first disadvantage is recursion will consume more memory this is first disadvantage and second disadvantage advantage is recursion can be slow because if recursion is not implemented properly then it will be a slow process and writing recursion function is not a easy task it is complicated task to write a recursion program and third disadvantage is it is difficult to analyze code in recursion function as i already said before by using recursion function we can convert complex problems into simple problems but before that you need to understand what is that complex problem so sometimes it is very difficult to understand this complex problem by using recursive function we can solve many math mathematical problems such as calculating factorial of a number and Fibonacci series so on. At first I will explain program to calculate factorial of a number by using recursion. Before that you need to know how to find factorial of a number. For example if you consider 3 factorial this is how we find factorial of a number. 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6 and similarly 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 24 and 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. We must start from that number and then we need to keep on multiplying by decrementing each value until 1. This is how we find factorial of a number. Now I will explain program in order to find factorial of a number by using recursion. At first I written hash include hdo.h. After that I written int and I am giving function name as factorial. Inside this I written int n. n is nothing but number which you want to find factorial. For example I want to find factorial of 5. This 5 is integer. So I written here int n where n will store number. After that inside this you need to write condition that is if n is less than or equal to 1 return 1 else return n into factorial of this is formula of factorial that is n into factorial of n minus 1 that means we will start from that number and then we will keep on multiplying by decrementing each value until 1 so here i given condition as if n is less than or equal to 1 return 1 whenever i reach value to 1 then i need to stop here so i return here return 1 by writing return 1 we can break this multiplication after writing your own function you need to write void main inside this you need to give number like i want to find factorial of 5 so you need to give here int n equal to 5 after that you need to write printf you need to write this in order to generate output so you need to write here factorial of percentage d is percentage d this percentage d is for n comma factorial of n this factorial of n is present here so by writing this i will get output as factorial of this percentage d is for n this n value is 5 so factorial of 5 is this percentage d is for factorial of n this factorial of n contains this block of code factorial of 5 is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 120 so this is output in order to find factorial of a number by using recursion next i will explain c program for Fibonacci series using recursion. Before that you need to know what is Fibonacci series. For example, at first you need to take 0 and after that 1. 0 plus 1 is 1 and similarly 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 plus 2 is 5 and 5 plus 3 is 8. This is known as Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series is nothing but we must keep on adding present element with previous element. At first you need to take 0 and 1 and you need to add this 2. 0 plus 1 is 1 and similarly now present element is 1 and we, you need to add this present element with previous element that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 and again add present element with previous element that is 2 plus 1 that is 3 and add this present element with previous element that is 3 plus 2 5 and similarly add present element with previous element that is 5 plus 3 that is 8. This is how we find Fibonacci series. We found Fibonacci series for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 elements. So in order to find Fibonacci series we need to use for loop. So here I written for int. All these are integers. So I written here int i equal to 0 i less than 7 starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i written here int i is equal to 0 
i less than 7 i plus plus you need to remember this for fibonacci series we use for loop now i will explain program now i am writing program in order to find fibonacci series up to 10 numbers starting from 0 0 plus 1 is 1 and similarly 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 and 8 plus 5 is 13 13 plus 8 is 21 21 plus 13 is 34 so starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so starting from 0 up to 9 so for that purpose i need to take for loop i'll turn here void main inside void main you need to take for loop for all these are integers so int i equal to 0 up to 9 min i less than 10 i plus plus inside this you need to write printf percentage d slash in comma i'm creating my own function let function name be fibonacci because we are finding fibonacci so i'm giving function name also fibonacci you can also give any name as your wish i'm giving function name as fibonacci of i this is i so i insert this i written i now we need to apply formula i given function name as fibonacci so now i'm writing function int fibonacci of int i inside this you need to write if i is equal to 0 return 0 else if i is equal to 1 return 1 here i took if i is equal to 0 return 0 else if i is equal to 1 return 1 because here first two numbers are 0 and 1 so i return this both after that else return now you need to write formula that is fibonacci of i minus 1 plus fibonacci of i minus 2 at first we return 0 and 1 after that we are adding this two numbers 0 and 1 so so i written here fibonacci of i minus 1 plus i minus 2 that is i minus 1 is 1 and i minus 2 is 0 1 plus 0 is 1 this is result of third element and similarly we will keep on repeating this formula until this condition is satisfied that is int i is equal to 0 that is int i is equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus that means we will get result up to 10 numbers 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 and 34 this is output for this program this is how we calculate fibonacci series guys in factorial example you need to remember this factorial of n is nothing but this is function which we created so this function contains separate code that contains formula so this is formula of factorial that is if n is less than or equal to return 1 else return n into factorial of n minus 1 that means we will start from that same number and we will keep on multiplying by decrementing each value until we reach 1 this is break condition that is whenever we find number 1 we will break that condition so 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 120 whenever it find 1 it will break that condition 